okay, we got the new soccer field. Now if we can just get the scoreboard operator to realize that a goal is worth one point, we'll be in business. Jackson and Kelly Walsh in a 3A versus 4A matchup. First half, Kelly Walsh wearing the white. Austin Zimmerman is using his head, but he put just a little too much on that shot, and that ball will sail out of bounds. Later, Nathan Richardson's going to break loose from the pack. He slips by the Jackson goalie, and he just has to get the ball past one defender, which he does. The sophomore has reason to celebrate, but it counted for nothing. The line judge ruled that when Richardson took the pass, he was offside, so the goal is no good. On the other end, the Bronx are trying to take a page out of their opponent's playbook. Gus Pierce will try a header of his own, but just like earlier, too much. We've had some good highlights so far, but no one's been able to score. Here comes another try for the boys in black. Will Horseman is in a foot race with the defense. He's got an angle, and he's aiming for the far side of the net, but his shot is too wide. That's one that he probably wanted to have back. But there's still 40 minutes to go. The score is nothing-nothing going into halftime. Second half, both teams now going in the opposite direction. Horseman gives it up, gets it back, and shoots just ahead of the sliding goalie, and the net is wide open. That would relieve some frustration from earlier. Jackson is on the board, leading one to nothing. This next highlight was almost a disaster. Danny Chavez tries to clear out the ball, but he kicks it right into Caleb Ramza. The sophomore has a chance, but Pierce was in the right place at the right time to knock the ball away. That's how you get your goalie out of a jam. Chavez owes his teammate one. Back to the other end. Here comes the Bronx again. Juan Morleon is leading the charge. However, Connor Diller will snuff out his fire with a sliding save. Diller ended up taking a hit from his own teammate and got his bell rung a little bit, but he was able to recover. The boys in black kept pressing. Marillon is going to give it another try, this time in traffic. His shot goes off the goalie's fingertips, and this time he gets the goal. The visitors were beginning to make an early season statement of 2 to nothing. Jackson was not done. Here's Horseman again. His pass ends up getting blocked, but he gets the deflection and just decides to take a shot instead. Top corner shelf and just out of reach of the goalie. The sophomore has his second goal of the game, and his team is in control with a three-zip advantage. Here comes one more. This is the penalty kick variety. Take Goodman was too quick, and he'll connect on his one chance, and that's all he needed. The Jackson Bronx would take care of business on the road in the second half, shutting out Kelly Walsh 4-0.